the two times table. In this short video, we'll go through some tricks to help you remember the two times table. I'll make use of this box full of cubes to show you how this looks visually as well. So as the name suggests, we've got two times tables. So we might go two times to the shop and get one item each time. So we'll bring home two items. I might put my hand twice in the box and get two items each time. So I'll end up with four. So two the first time and two the second time, which makes four in total. If I go two times to the shop and get three items each time, I'll bring home three and three, which is six. Two times to the shop to get four items each time, I'll get four and four, which is eight. So it's doubling the amount or adding two lots of them. So for the first one, it was one and one, which makes two. Two and two, which makes four. Three and three, which makes six. Four and four, which is eight. So two times five is five at five, which is 10. Two times six is 12. Two times seven is 14. Two times eight is 16. Two times nine, 18. Two times 10, 20. Two times 11, 22. Two times 12, 24. For numbers that are over 10, for example, two times six is 12. So if you find it difficult to remember, you could split six into five and one. And so we have two lots of them. So another five and one. Five and five will give us 10 and the two. So that makes 12. So you can repeat the same thing with the seven, for example. So seven will be split into five and two. Another lot of it, five and two. So five and five gives us 10 and two and two is four. So that makes 14. When it comes to numbers over 20, such as two lots of 11, for example. So you can have 11 broken down into 10 and one and another lot of it because we have two times. So that makes 10 and 10, 20 and the two makes 22. So looking at two times 12, we can do two times 10 first, which is 20 and two times two, which is four. So that makes 24. So if we do this with some bigger numbers, for example, let's say two times 34, right? So we can do two times 30 first, which is 60, and two times four, which is eight. So the answer is 68. Another thing that we should look at is that two times four is the same as four times two. So going two times to the shop, to get four items each time, like here, for the first time and for the second time, that gives us eight. Is the same as going four times to the shop and getting two items each time. So I go the first time, get two, second time another two, third time two, and fourth time two. So it is like looking at these, we initially had two times four, which is two rows of four cubes each. And that is exactly the same as having four rows of two each or two columns of four each. So I can write this as two times four is equal to four times two. Six times two is the same as two times six. This is always the case with multiplication. Another thing to look at is the visual pattern. So two times one is two. To get to the next one, which is two times two, we add in two because we're looking at a two times table. So we add in two on top and add two again to get to the third one, add two again. So all the time we add in two. So if you know two times five is 10, to get two times six, just add two on top. So 10 and two gives us 12, and that is two times six or six times two. So that is the case throughout. So if you know two times 10 is 20, to get two times 11, just add another two on top to make 24 
or if you know 2 times 11 is 22, add another 2 to get 2 times 12. Now write this pattern in a post-it or a piece of paper and go over it maybe three times or more until you've memorized it in order.